Hello and welcome to The Man with the Scent. This is The Scent. I am The Man. Today we are doing the sound demo of the Waldorf rocket. I got a few requests from for sounds. Blue Master 65 requested basses and bleeps. To me this sounds like a free of freestyle bass and we will start with that. Doing a free of freestyle bass is very simple on Rocket since the routing is similar to the free of free. All you really need to do is turn the envelope modulation up uh, and keep the key track to 50 or 0% and use a single um, sound wave on the oscillator. And it sounds something like this. Of course, you can also use the pulse wave. can change the filter type to bandpass. It sounds especially good with the boost option on. You can also use the high pass mode which creates quite metallic sounds. Another interesting bass sound I've discovered is you can turn down the resonance on the low pass filter and use the oscillator sync sweep to achieve some nice metallic sounds. Some of you might want to do dubstep wobbly basses. I am not exactly a fan of this style, but yeah. The method to do this is to disable the envelope modulation, use the bandpass filter with the boost, and manually control the speed dial. Now, if you prefer more classical, non-modulated basses, just disable all the modulations and tune the low pass filter at 100% keyboard tracking to emphasize one of the harmonics of the bass wave. Still not enough bass for you, I suggest switching to pulse wave setting the tune of, I think it's an octave or a fifth, I'm not really sure, and keeping the load pass filter with moderately high resonance and a little bit envelope. This will give you a sub oscillator here, amplified by the filter. If you want this synth to grow, the easiest way to do this is to use a low pass filter with high speed of modulation but very low depth. Well, moderately low. And 100% key track. No envelope. Pulse wave. This seems to sound the best. Another method of achieving the growl is using detuned oscillators um, with bandpass filter tuned to high resonance to end 
boost enabled to emphasize this beating effect between the two oscillators. This sounds something like this. one EDM requested that I do some plugs or so plugs. Plug sounds are very easy to do, just disable the sustain stage and keep the envelope uh, decay rather high. You can use the detune to the sound more interesting. Unison songs sound really nice. In a very similar way, you can do so stabs and chords that Abdalek asked about. Enable several sows and use the that you know. Chords. of the chord function, we can also use the uh, unison paraphonic mode to play our own chords. This might not be up everyone's alley, but I think it's quite a useful feature at times. Blue Monster 65 asks also about pads. Now, pads as slowly evolving sounds is fairly easy to do on Rocket. Just set up a complex multi saw oscillator, combine it with a filter, and modulate it slowly with an LFO. interest if you enable very slow oscillator sync sweep or a slow pulse with modulation the problem is that it is rather difficult to do a slow attack on rocket. One trick I know is to turn the cutoff really low and use the aftertouch to open up the filter at the start of a note, something like this. A 
another trick is to use high pass filter and use the envelope modulation to open it. some leads now. Now the same sound with a little bit of space echo. Just a simple. Another nice lead sound can be achieved by using bandpass filter with boost and false wave. It sounds a bit like a 4 month filter to me. <laughs> doubled so with an interval detune, you can achieve another quite interesting leadish sound. If you turn down the pulse width to zero, switch the filter to bandpass and turn the resonance really high, you can get the singing filter effect, which also works well for leads. It sounds something like this. Boy Slim asked me to do some drum sounds and since I am already showing you how to generate the sine wave using the filter, we can use the same trick to generate um, bass drums. Just use some envelope modulation and you got this. Of course you can boost it. By slightly changing the knobs you can use the same setup to create toms. Rocket doesn't have a noise generator, but if you use the multi saw wave and modulate its frequency using a very high frequency LFO, well, 50 Hz, not that high, but quite high, you can get a pretty good noise for percussive sounds, like hi-hats. Note that I am using high-pass filter. If you tune the LFO speed and the filter type a little bit, you can get somewhat different sounding noises. This could possibly pass for a clap. Or some sort of snare drum. Generally, Rocket is not as good at doing drums as Blofeld because of the lack of the noise generator. Now, this sound was not requested by anyone, but since I was quite surprised when I found it, I will show it anyway. Generally use pulse wave with a detune of an octave and a little bit of LFO to oscillate or pitch. Keep the resonance low and you get, oh, and also turn up the release.
something sounding a bit like transistor organs. Probably won't fool anyone. But I would totally use it in some situations. Another unrequested sound. If you use the pulse wave with the chord function uh, and almost no VCF, you get something that would be very usable in chip tunes. Another method of getting chip tune sounds is to use the LFO set to square wave and the interval uh, LFO range directed to the oscillator. Of course, again, pulse wave. no reason why you shouldn't combine the two approaches. Handcrafted asked me to show using Rocket as a filter box for some drum loop. So here it goes. As you've heard, this synth can produce a quite large variety of sounds. The combination of versatile digital oscillator with an analog filter proved to be interesting. Uh, were it n not for the primitive envelope section, I think this would be the best analog sounding synthesizer at this price point. Um, in current situation, you probably have to think if this is a deal breaker for you or not. So, a small sneak peek of what I will be doing next week. By a stroke of luck, I got my hands on a pre production style of OS2. So, See you next week. Subscribe, comment, like. Thanks.